remember those points to tap on are just rubbing on the sore spot, just on the chest. So if we just call it the chest point, then you'll know what I mean there. And again, that's just alerting the body to be aware of what we want to actually process, what we want to allow the body to let go of all the thoughts, thought processes to control. Um, so the, the, the next point obviously is on the inside of the eye, just on the bridge of the nose. On the outside of the eye, you've also got the point underneath the eye, under the nose, and in the crease of the chin, right in the crease of that chin area. You've also then got the points on the thumb. Now the thumb point and the finger points are simply by the bridge of the nail, by where the nail and the, the flesh of the, the finger or the, the thumb meet. And so it's about tapping, rubbing, or simply pressing to stimulate that area. Remember these are meridian points or energy systems in the body. Um, just like acup acupuncture and acupressure points. So just as we're stimulating that, whether it's through pressure, whether it's through rubbing or tapping, we'll be activating um, the, 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 the right electrical frequency within the body to, to manage what you're managing. So the, the points on the hands, again, the thumb, the index finger, the middle finger, just again on the side of the nail there, the ring finger and the little finger, and of course that karate chop point underneath the hand where you would do a karate chop normally and the gamut point on the back of the hand. Remembering also if you're running through to the second part of the tapping sequence where you need to do the tapping sequence all the way through and then also do the eye movements. The eye movements are very very simple it's simply looking up to the right without moving your head so you're keeping your head very still and you're simply using your eyes. So it's up to the right, up to the left down to the right, down to the left, and then rolling the eyes in a big circle one way and all the way back the other way. So it's very, very simple and we'll certainly put some diagrams for you um, to, to show you with much more clarity how that's happening and also one of our Unzip the Fat Suit participants has also um, provided an audio doing exactly that, um, that exercise as well so she can show you exactly on what to do and what to do with your eyes through that process on one of the other videos. So please feel free to search the, the uh, YouTube channel and our website, all the W's MaggieWild.com, that's wild with an E-W-I-L-D-E, or all the W's ThePotentialist.com.